Chris, Kinnaminster Harriers 1, AFC Fylde 1, your verdict on what we've just seen in front of us here at Agbro? Uh, it was uh, really proud of the players, superb uh, superb goal, uh, the goal we scored, so quick, uh, incisive, uh, quality and fell to a player that's excellent in that position and we're getting a lot out of Nick Horton this time round in the National League, he deserves credit for that um, and he scored a great goal tonight, topping off a great move, Josh Kay was excellent with his run off the ball and he had great composure to pick his mate out and we did it a few times, in fact we had more shots on target than Kidderminster today but uh, we couldn't get a second which would have made the game a bit easier but of course um, you're playing a team that have got big physical players, a uh, lot of respect for Phil, that played with Phil at, uh, at Blackpool when I was uh, Taylor O'Kane's age, a young young man. Um, so I have a lot of respect for Phil, and I hope uh, they can keep digging. But ultimately tonight, we want to win. But of course, a draw 100% would have took that before before the game starts. Three away games, a win against York, the defeat on Saturday against Chesterfield, and a promising performance. And again, despite not picking up the three performance, the, the three points rather, it's a performance that you can no doubt be proud of. Oh yeah, resilient, consistent. Uh, Theo making great saves early in the game, the first corner of the match. Um, distribution was excellent. Dan Armrod ran the line, fantastic. Like I said, uh, we had good uh, winger. Uh, uh, pace, you can see the pitch, it's long, bobbly, wet, heavy, uh, so uh, we couldn't, it wasn't like to the eye a slick game of football, but you could see that we tried to bring it down in the first half, you could see that we tried to play, and the goal we scored, like I said, was, was excellent. Their goal's just a war of attrition, it's uh, second ball, we don't win the first, we're actually trying to score, Nick Horton nearly nicks it to go on down this end and score, there's one tackle, two tackle, cross too easy, great save, three had a great save, second ball tapping, it just, it happens, they, they've got nothing to lose, they put on four or five players to try and obviously uh, in the attacking positions to try and get their goal, uh, so I'm uh, really pleased the lads. Tom Walker was outstanding today back into the lineup and also Bryce Osana in two of the four changes were superb at the back today. Yeah, every credit to them. Bryce has been patient, come on for Connor. Uh, Connor Barrett's had, uh, well for me, in my time as manager, he's been uh, e excelling and excellent in his performances. Um, sometimes it can catch up with you a little bit. He took it great, he came on great as well. He looked like he could uh, nearly score a winner. Um, but I knew the, the game would be like this here tonight and um, it was great that Tom came in, um, a little bit taller than Max, aerially, a bit stronger, um, he's been here a thousand times, so um, yeah, they both did great and I wanted to put extra attacking players on from, uh, from our bench, but Bryce was leggy, so I brought him over to this side, Tom, leggy, too many crosses coming in the last sort of two or three minutes before he comes off, so it was important that we tried to reinforce and help support the lads at the back, but a way of doing that is to have more contact up front, and I wanted to get Joe Wesley on that pitch, but I couldn't do it because the lads were flagging. Back-to-back -back games back at Mill Farm coming up as Wheelstone travel to the far coast on Saturday before Oxford City make the journey up north the week after. What can we take? from this afternoon and the last three away games back in front of our home fans over the next few weeks? I think you've just got to credit all the players and the staff because, you know, prior last month it was four overnight stays in London in one month, which was more miles from file to Istanbul and a coach. Uh, and credit to the supporters coming to watch us and I'm so happy we got great results while we did that and again we've had three back-to-back <laughs> -back away fixtures um, and even tonight the M6 closed uh, it caused issues before the game you know the lads deal with it adapt with it we didn't get to our uh, pre-match till about five o'clock which is probably an hour too late really uh, didn't have time to speak to the players that I was going to make changes with we had to eat have a quick meeting uh, announce the team uh, I, didn't have, I didn't have individual time that I normally have with the lads because we were caught on, on the M6 and we set off at, I think we set off about 1 o'clock so it's amazing what can happen but the lads adapt uh, absolutely no excuse and play like that it's brilliant and finally to the 29 travelling supporters <laughs> this evening who got a few laughs from the home support Did but they? will definitely go home very proud of what they've seen from your team this afternoon well Brandon my boy he's, always, he's on everything on the internet and uh, he said we're, we're the highest 
highest supported club, uh, aren't we, in terms of uh, footfold and who we get and who we've got at, at AFC Files. So, you know, people may uh, may uh, sort of take uh, the mickey out of them, but, you know, whether it's one, 102 on Saturday, yeah, I could hear them tonight, really pleased, uh, and I made everybody go over to make sure we say thank you. But uh, we're all in this together. We've still got lots to do. Um, we've got more opportunities, and it'd be nice to get back uh, to Mill Farm and, and get back-to-back -back games. It's, 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 it's good, good feeling.